Here's a walk around of London Concord 2019. You can see the Bugatti there on. A Lamborghini Diablo. And, of course, the Ferrari. So here we are. E. Well, a rather large selection of Lamborghini Miuras. Some classics behind that, including MGs. And I'm sure Joseph and Matt would have great fun telling me which models these are. This is just going to be a walk around with the gimbal, showing you what you can see at the London Concorde each year. It gets better and better as well. And of course, you like champagne, the champagne flows here. You can get afternoon tea, you can get breakfast, you can get dinner. For display purposes. Indeed, indeed. No, it's looking fantastic. So, you just told us, but how long have you had the car? I think it's about this year. There's even yachts. One of the chaps who used to work for CNM insisted he could do all sorts of wonderful things with it. Kept it for a year and did almost nothing with it. And about telling me of the times that he shared with him. And anyway, as a result of all of that, I take it away and started working on it with my own. As you can see, the wind's getting a bit rough here. I'll maybe put a little bit of music in the background. I'm sure you can all recognise these cars. If I go through them, I will literally, well, it won't be a fast walk around. Tell us in the comments which is your favourite car. That Super Ligero DBS is quite something. LEVC. Now, one thing I didn't expect to see here, and one of my all time favourites, even though I am more airing towards the Mark II, is the Mark I Golf over there. Heidi Quattro. Mercedes 300 SL going. And of course, the BMW M1. But look, Mark 1 Golf GTI. Likely a campaign model. Porsche 911. McLaren SLR 722. Or oh, more at the point, Mercedes Benz SLR 722. Likely McLaren engineers? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. So uh, yeah, F40, I'm sure the F40 is uh, one of our feature cars from last year on various bits of the channel. Early Jags, in the roll cage. It's a very cool Jags actually, very very cool. And the infamous Project 7. Mm. The kangaroo. Yeah, this is one car that stands out. And as you'll probably remember, we were chatting to Harry Metcalf about SVR production and um, development. And well, the Project 7 and the Project 8 are the fruits. The problem with doing a walk around is you kind of get hung up on certain cars. As you can see, the tonos are coming out now to cover cars. Everybody's roofs are going up. It just seems to stop raining again. Jensen. And obviously a Bugatti EB110. Yeah, that's something I didn't know. The first carbon fiber monocot road car.
So there we go. Let's carry on our tour. Michael should be joining me soon. He's on his way down. Ooh, another Lagera, Aston Martin. Tesla are here as well. Model S and the X. Yeah, no three. Ooh, classic Ferrari. Nice. Classic Citroen right behind there, the van. And obviously another test drive car is the Ferrari Testarossa or TR512. Yeah, there's a fair few rather cool cars here. The uh, V12 E type was the most coveted, and it was the one that really hit the, um, the high watermark in terms of value. Yeah, there. The rear of the Testarossa. Oh, yeah, a really classic Ferrari. Well, I think they might have achieved uh, 150 miles an hour with, with, with a few tweaks. And, and a GTO uh, again. Slightly more retro and classic. This one, as you can see, the rain has now become ridiculous. As you can see, there's um, some real racing car calibre here. We've just seen Project 7. Well, behold, Project 8. So another SDR car developed with the SDR team and Harry Mecca. If you like these kind of things, it's definitely worth seeing Harry's car vids and Al Alpine A110 and the other one as well some Porsches even a Mini Aston Martin and that looks like a V8 Signa if I'm not mistaken yes it is we saw this go flat out up the hill climb at Goodwood Just look at the difference, it's so wide. Mind you, when you've got V8 power, I suppose you need something that's going to be a bit stronger than the normal cars. And this one's just for Sam. Maybe James. This is a fantastic Mini. 1976 Austin Mini Clubman GT. As you can see, they've gone stealth with the headlamps. It's very Dodge Charger in the style of that grille, to be honest. So, yeah. Obviously, some very old school Rolls Royces. Fabulous. Spirit of Ecstasy and Taj Mahal. Oh, that Bentley blower, yeah, I thought so. 4.5 litre, 1931. So, uh, Richard, uh, there are some racing cars as well, uh, Formula One cars, uh, things like that. We'll get a closer uh, look uh, later. I'm trying to speed up this walk around. Is a very, very important part of Jaguar history as well. It's Old school the, uh, Americans, look at those. Jaguar XJ6 1940 uh, Lincoln one. Continental Cabriolet, and 1954 many Lincoln Cosmopolitan, and, and a 1964 Ford Falcon um, Sprint. Chairman, uh, now that looks like a true racing car. Talk about heritage, you imagine the sound of that. 1962 Triumph TR4, very nice. 1964 Ford Galaxy 500. And a 1932 Ford Roadster Hot Rod. 1957 Ford Del Rio Ranch Wagon. Well, and, and Lotus Alarm from 1970. You know, nobody would argue with the fact this has beautifully distinctive styling. In fact, it was the, the car of the year uh, with Car Magazine. As you can see, everybody is now headed for cover. Uh, as I'm northern, I'm actually enjoying this. It's a bit more refreshing, it's a bit cooler. I mean, it's rather hot here. We were seeing more and more brown cars. Then everybody walked around with brown. Brown in the town was a. So there we go. That's a full lap. Brown's the new black again. Oh, London Concord 2019. 